Hey, good morning everybody. It is bright and early out here in Tennessee. We are up on the Cumberland again. Our water levels are pretty low still. Uh, this area has been working for me the last few days. It's been pretty uh, tough to get a bite. We're still in that transitionary period between um, summer and autumn, fall, whatever, what have you. So we're just gonna be trying to uh, really catch them on whatever I can. Paddle tails have been the move. I got some crankbaits. I'm just gonna kind of dial in on what they're eating. I got a couple different colors and uh, yeah, hope for the best guys. So uh, thanks for sticking with me. We'll try a few different baits. Um, and really just stick with whatever works try to catch some fish i know there's some big ones out here i got broke off by a monster the other day so uh yeah a lot of skipjack running a couple whites too so let's see what we can do it looks pretty pretty calm right now uh yeah sun's still coming up but got a few hours this morning and uh it's a ton of boats stacking up so there must be some kind of contest or competition or something i don't know it looked like cat boat so we'll see all right thanks for joining me guys all right everybody so i had this fluke tied on from yesterday we'll start out with that spare me from tying on a, another one i did bring two other paddle tails and last evening i was able to uh catch them off the rip wrap fishing this so kind of just flitting that jig head in and out of those rocks almost pinging off of them and it, yep, there we go. Awesome. Awesome. First cast. A fat little one. Well, I hooked your cat, buddy. Doesn't always work out that smoothly, does it? <laughs> A fat little largemouth. Look at that belly on him. All right, we're gonna get her back in. You're, you're what we're looking for. I just want a little bit bigger, all right? Thanks, buddy. So, okay. I feel like I still can't pull them off the rep. Let's just hit these areas before these boats get out here. Suck up the easy ones, and then we'll start the tough, the tough gang. This is a super snaggy area over here, but the uh, water is low. A little jump. <coughs> Oh man, I'm working. This has a few jerks like this, and just reeling it in. So giving it kind of that sporadic action, that fluky action. You know, we got paddle tail on, trying to pull out the uh, little lurkers down there, and that's about where we snag every time. One benefit of fishing a uh, spotty water fairly often, I know where a lot of the snags are. Very, very slick. Y'all know if you watch my stuff, I did fall and bust my entire ankle open. Almost a stitch worthy event. Okay. Sweet. Good fish. Yeah, it's very stacked up on this rock. About the same size as last time. Oh, spin it. You look like the same fish. I know you're not, but get you back in. All right, All right guys, so you can see our flukes just slowly falling off more and more. So I'm gonna check my line. There are some, some frays, so we're gonna change. We're gonna retie, but basically I'm just gonna kind of gross the plastic in that bag and reset it in there. And it's not gonna affect the action too much. Still gonna be able to generate those strikes and just preserve our fluke. Tag under it there. Uh, 
that'll give us a few more a few more uses another fish for sure maybe a couple pull out the scissors and we don't even really use them typical right had to downgrade that old uh, Oh, the sweater. We'll keep working this bank. Try to get like one or two more off of it and make the old jump. This spot's usually pretty good by this bridge. Covered a little more ground. There we go. So we are moving around. The spot I wanted to kind of go to the area, there are a ton of boats launching right now, like more than I've ever seen. There must be some kind of special event going on, but this nice kind of our bridge right there. Run through down here. We're gonna try to pick something up, try to make some noise in this little area. Good fish. Oh, there's one following it too. All right. That's a gorgeous one. Look at that, guys. Look at that spot. Look at that belly. Super pretty. A little red eye. All right, guys. Check out this pretty little spot. Prettiest fish of the day so far, I think. Really, really healthy looking. Nice fish, nice red eyes there. Wow. I'm gonna get her back in. We're gonna keep going at it. So we got a little more time. <clears throat> I think we're gonna make a jump. So we've been out here about an hour and a half. We only managed to get three fish on. I'm thinking. We hop banks. This might be a terrible mistake. This might be a good move. I guess we're gonna find out. I'll take that little hike. See if I don't catch fish in 45 minutes. We'll, we'll jump banks again. But got a got a huge stretch of raft down there. Head that way. Good fish. Yeah. All right, another little, uh, little large mouth. Sorry, buddy. Whoa, a lot of healthy ones. That's a, that's an awesome sign. Thanks, buddy. Good fish, yeah, all right. Another nice spot. Good looking. Spots don't typically don't get that big around here, but this is a, that's a somewhat average size maybe it could be a bit smaller than normal hey good morning everybody hope everyone's doing all right out there actually running a little bit behind today as usual i'm actually getting out ready to do a little bit of fishing but i am currently trying to re-spool up a couple reels i don't know what you guys use to uh Respool if you got like some kind of super cool contraption or something. Let me know in the comments. I uh, actually am pretty uh, primitive in my respooling method. I literally put my line on the ground. I've been doing it my whole life like this, and I 
step on it to add a little tension with a nice pair of socks on. I throw that spool out there, kind of wrap it around something, and I, I literally spool that way, and it works just a-okay for me. Let's see. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, all right. Actually, one of my BFS reels, I'm taking out the old... Um, all right, there we go. Lipless. So I got some quarter ounce lipless, so I'm gonna kind of do like a power BFS thing. But anyhow, pretty solid day of fishing, everybody. Went out there and smacked some smaller bass. Uh, hopefully they are bigger this week. It's been about a week now, so I'm um, looking forward to getting out on the water and uh, pretty stoked about it. Um, I'm bringing out a lipless, bringing out some of those like swimming worms I showed y'all, the swimming dingers. I uh, got a handful of stuff, but yeah, pretty much saw a day out on the water, just dealing with that transition bite. I'm thinking things are really, really picking up. So today I'm gonna try to go out. It's kind of morning right now. It's like 10:30, so I head out there and um, Hopefully it works out for me. I'm trying to find out what that bite's looking like this week. Uh, probably gonna be an evening thing or an early morning thing, but who knows. So my best days on the water have been midday. I've been seeing a lot of spotted bass, a lot of largemouth, kind of small right now, but I'm thinking that size is gonna kind of stack up. If there's smaller ones out there, that means there's bigger ones. Um, I am gonna bring some uh, hair jigs, I'm thinking. Do a little jig in, maybe do like a skipjack white bass day with those, uh, you know, big old larges. I hit those too, so we'll see what happens. Anyhow, guys, I gotta get these bad boys spooled up. I gotta get out on the road. I'm running super late as always, but uh, hey, I'm gonna be a solid day. I'm only late to go fishing, so I'm not really late for anything in, uh, in particular, but I always get excited when I'm getting out on the water. I have been for ever, man, ever since I like kind of really fell in love with fishing. I have rushed to get out on the water and just spend my days out there. I used to rush from work, even if I only got 20 minutes to fish, driving through traffic and stuff. Uh, so, you know, getting crazy excited, getting my bait in there. I, I always loved it. But anyhow, guys, hope y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other and get some good fish on. I know this recap's kind of different. I've been saying the same thing about the same bait the last couple episodes, so if y'all are curious about that Super Fluke Junior, which we were using in white ice with a 1 8 ounce jig head, you can check my last uh, video out, or um, I have several other videos out on this bait where I go more into detail about how I like to fish it and what really works for me with it, what I truly think about it. All, all you gotta know is I rate it five out of five, 10 out of 10 every single time, but take care of yourselves guys, take care of each other, get some good fish on. We're gonna go out, I'm gonna try to make something cool happen with this Power BFS setup. I don't really know um, if they're gonna be hitting that lipless. I really, really hope so. It When that lipless bite hits up, or heats up in my area, excuse me, it is, absolutely so much fun um just I, I fish it i smack it up against that riprap and getting those big old strikes from fish i mean you'll lose a good amount you know how that, that goes this is a actually a the limber graphite version of this daiwa black label which has a little more uh, a little more flex in it a little more parabolic bend if you will so helps keep those crankbait fish pinned and I have not yet used uh, or caught a fish on a lipless with it so I'm thinking that quarter ounce for this medium light might be the move really really hoping I can get some fish on if not right now today I'll catch them on something else I'll bring several baits out but I'll uh, head out in a couple weeks and I'm surely be able to get them like fall time is a lipless crankbait time by me so anyhow guys take care of yourselves take care of each other get some good fish on my friends I gotta get out that door right now uh, I'll see y'all next time wish me luck try to get some fish on today